No can we steal you? No can we steal you? Oh, these little bubbers. He's doing good. He's a little rowdy. A little rowdy. You a baby? Oh, thank you. He's doing good. Um, he's still a little, just a little guy. I'm gonna. Huh. Yeah, it's been two years. Obviously, a lot has changed. Um, but we're going to talk about that, and there's a couple of things I want to talk about first. Uh, first off, I wasn't going to do this video if I didn't have good audio, so sorry about that. I really, and also I realized how dirty my mic is now, so that's cool. Um, but I have been gone for two years, and I made a post recently on Instagram saying uh, that I'm going to make a YouTube video. A lot of people were saying, oh, you're coming back to YouTube. It's nice to see that. I, I am not. This is actually, if anything, more of a goodbye video. And it's taken me two years to say goodbye. It's because of a couple of reasons and we'll get to that. Uh, but I know there's a couple of other things that are a little bit in your face right now, which is uh, all the things that have changed with me. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do that because I feel like at this point I have to reintroduce myself. Um, I, I go by so many different things now. Um, so hi, my name's Vela. Um, I'll put it on screen cause it's a little, little wacky. Um, this is the name that I have chosen. Uh, I finally found a name that I'm comfortable with. You can totally call me Kiwi if you still want that. That is fine. But, um, this is, this is who I am. <laughs> um, and I'm totally fine with people knowing that because, you know, with piercing, people are going to know my name anyway. So it's totally fine. Um, another part is that I am a gender as well. Uh, I do not feel connected to anything and not even in the sense of like non-binary or like gender fluid or anything like that. I'm genuinely, I'm just, you know, awesome, super vague sick. Let's also kind of talk about how I got to where I am now. I'm currently living in Washington, uh, more in the Seattle area, so kind of vibing with it. Um, no, I actually moved here for a piercing apprenticeship and yeah, it's, it's been a journey. Um, I have been apprenticing for about six months now. Um, I'm stabbing some people, I'm doing some of that stuff. I'm curating, um, lots of fun stuff. It's, it's really nice to be back into the industry and everything. I'll talk more about that later on. Um, for now, <laughs> let's, let's talk more about me moving here. Um, and also what that did for me. Um, cause on YouTube, I, I left YouTube in New Mexico. I didn't really bring it with me in Washington at all. Not making YouTube videos was huge for my mental health. I felt a lot better. I I genuinely felt so much stress leave me and it's what I really, really needed. And I also had to focus on myself because I don't know how long I've been making content or just thinking about whenever I do anything in my life of how I'm going to make content out of it, um, which makes a friendships, relationships and a bunch of other things very complicated and weird. Um, so sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> Basically, in New Mexico, I had no friends really in person, like barely at the end, um, like the last couple of months. And then I wasn't doing a job that I was completely happy with. I was totally fine doing social media, but it wasn't, everybody knows what I wanted to do, piercing. So it wasn't like the main thing that was going to give me happiness and make me feel fulfilled and, you know, challenged and all of that. So I wasn't happy in that regard and mental health wise, I also wasn't really doing anything. Uh, before I left New Mexico, I was in therapy for a hot minute. I did therapy like multiple times a week, went on medication, all of this stuff. Worked super hard on my agoraphobia to the point where actually now I can completely go out and do like a lot of things. <laughs> um, once I got to a certain point of my therapy, I bought myself a car and drove everywhere and since then i am the person that drives everybody in my entire friend group anything i'm always driving i'm always going out 
which people will find super weird. <laughs> um, that's what I do now. So it, it's, I'm basically a completely different person. It's strange. Yeah, so I have a car now. My mental health is a lot better. I used to have panic attacks like three, four times a day, and I haven't experienced one in so, 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 so long. Um, I, nowadays, maybe once or twice a year. That is it. And it's not even like a full-blown panic attack. It's like, I feel anxious. I know how to deal with it. I know how to go about it. And then I'm able to move on. Um, I also like lived on my own for a whole year, which if you have not done that ever in your life, just do it. <laughs> Leave whoever you're with. Go live on your own for a year. Great stuff. But this is just, I don't know. I don't know, man. Ugh. Everything's different. <laughs> but basically for this, this video is more of me just being like, I am well, I am, I am taking care of myself um, before I leave. Oh, that hurts so much to say. That hurts so much. Another thing, obviously, body mods have been added. <laughs> um, all that fun stuff. I know not everybody is about this tattoo style, so. It's whatever. There's plenty to add and do to it. Um, and then also getting my head tattooed. I know a lot of people uh, are going to be like, why would you do that if you still have hair? I still wear pants, even though I have a leg tattoo. I don't know what to tell you. I have some footage of shaving my head and getting it tattooed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the progress of that. It was... I've changed my name. That's crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I changed my name. Anyway, why am I hesitating? I sat for two days straight. That was such a silly, silly thing to do. I'm never doing that ever again. Anyway, on to the neck piece. Um, I'm still working on this. Had like two sessions on it. It's not that bad. Anyway, um, other things have been added, changed my face. Last time I was on YouTube, I <laughs> was barely getting some piercings back and now I have probably a lot. I've also retired some piercings. Wise, right now, um, I am apprenticing um, at a very lovely shop. Love everybody there. Um, it's Foundation Body Arts. Um, it is located in Linwood, Washington. Um, and if you ever want to get like marked, um, I'm currently in the pin cushion area of apprenticing, so I'm practicing piercing on people. I'm currently just sticking to close friends, but at some point it will open up to it. So if you're there or wanting to travel to visit Washington, yada, 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 that is where I'm located um, and everything like that. <laughs> Getting back into piercing, we'll talk about it for just a second. Um, I went to the APP conference. I'm currently working on my membership for it. I just got the certificate for all my classes. I went to GI GIA um for like applied jewelry professional i got my certificate from there literally trying to do everything and become as much as i can within this industry um but also most importantly be there for clients and share and have an experience for them that is pleasant in multiple ways other than just you know adding to your body that's where i am piercing wise <laughs> wonderful shop um if I talk about it too much, I will cry. And the funny thing is, I've tried to make this video multiple times before, which I'm sure you're sick of hearing YouTubers say that, but I have so many videos of me crying, just trying to tell you guys that I got back into the industry. It's, it means a lot. <laughs> okay, stream-wise, um, I was gone for a year and I couldn't stop thinking about you guys. I got super sad. <laughs> <laughs> um, not like, not like super, super sad where it was like concerning. Um, but, uh, I would get off of work at the studio and then I would just cry. Stream wise, it's, it's more about connecting with y'all and it's not, I just, I just miss it guys. Done crying. <sighs> we'll 
get back to that. We'll, 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 we'll get back to that. Don't worry about that. Um, okay, other things for work. Uh, I'm doing spicy work. Do you understand what I'm saying? I, yeah. So I've been doing that for about two years now. Basically, the last time you saw me <laughs> is when I started. Um, and I learned a lot about myself within that time. I do more of like the lewd stuff. I am still actively doing it, but I also found a part of myself recently uh, that I did not know. A lot of people are like, oh, very submissive, ba 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 ba. That's Kiwi. Submit, um, not anymore. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. I am now a dom um, for multiple people. Also a just dom for multiple people. Um, dom, dominatrix, whatever you want to say. Call myself a switch. Within like my own personal relationships, I definitely am a lot more submissive. Um, for work and everything like that, it tends to go the other way. <laughs> um, so it's interesting. Um, doing that kind of line of work, you figure out a lot of things, but it's also very interesting to learn about people. Also what it has taught me about what people think and want and see within kink and BDSM is amazing. Um, it definitely like fulfills a part of my life. It's great, but uh, I don't see myself doing social media for that many years ahead of me um, because in the end, and this is going into like what I am doing and why I'm not coming back. <laughs> um, being gone for a year, I needed that. I needed to experience other things. I will still be online. I'm not gonna completely disappear. Instagram is probably gonna be where I'm the most active. I, I really like Instagram a lot. There's a lot of ways to kind of like modify it so I can still enjoy my life. Um, YouTube, like I said, once a year, if that, I don't know. Um, TikTok is probably where I'm gonna be start posting some videos because it's just quick, easy content that I don't feel stressed about. And I kind of miss just being creative and making content, um, which is why I left YouTube. I would get a lot of comments about editing and my creative levels were just not needed anymore. People just wanted me to talk about certain things or do this or that. Um, and when I wanted to be creative, nobody would talk about that content. So I just stopped caring. Um, and just didn't feel good anymore. And then also, of course, the way that people talk about you, people will always talk about you in the comments as if like you don't read the comments. So I don't know. YouTube was the first one to go. I feel like everybody can kind of fill the gaps of that. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing social media wise. Um, Instagram, gonna be a lot more on there. TikTok, that's just gonna be for fun, honestly. Twitch is the most painful one because that's where I got the closest to people. Um, I'm still going to be, as of like right now, right now, be active on it. Um, and over time, stop. I will like slowly switch the content to mostly like community nights so I can spend more time with you before I go full time with piercing and then not able to just, yeah, <laughs> you know, it's a sad one to talk about. There's a lot of things that have changed and I just wanted to come by, reintroduce myself, say where I am, what I've been doing, how things have improved, um, how happy I am, but it's also so hard to say these things because I'm also also saying goodbye so but I was gonna be really happy to announce that I'm piercing I'm also saying goodbye it's really hard if there's anything left I want to say I'll just put it as like a page. Um, there's a lot of things that I couldn't say. I guess it would be like so long. <laughs> um, so for now, we'll see. But for now, I will say goodbye. Um, I don't even know how to say goodbye to this video, but. Wait, that this 
entire platform. It's affected my life in good and bad ways. Is like immeasurable. <laughs> um, I appreciate everything or any time anyone has ever given. And I I love you guys. So yeah, go ahead and go with that.